And now, here's your host of the program, Dr. Louis Fetter. Good evening. I'm Dr. Louis Fetter, cosmetic surgeon practicing in New York. Welcome once again to Here's Looking at You. As you well know by now, we're the long-running show on plastic surgery and beauty and health and dermatology and all of the things at home you want to know about, we try to tell you. And I think this evening you're going to find the show to be quite unusual, quite interesting, because I have two very interesting, very unusual New York guests who are going to tell us their experiences, both cosmetically and their lifestyles, and all this stuff we're going to tell you will be very inside, really kind of fun stuff. So let me introduce you to my guests. To my right is uh, Jody Roberts, who's one of the premier real estate brokers in New York. Jody, good evening. Good evening. Nice to see you. And I have my, my good friend Warren Littman, who's a major antiques dealer, not only in New York, but nationwide. And if you want to buy something really fabulous and unusual, he's the man. So Warren, I want to thank you also for joining us. My pleasure. Warren, tell us about, uh, and tell the audience, of course, uh, why you chose to get something done with your, with your skin and some surgery. And uh, I, I don't want to give you too much. Tell us. Well, the, uh, what, what, what I thought was women can put on makeup and women can do all this kind of stuff. Why can't we do something for ourselves? So I felt that uh, I had seen you on TV and I was very impressed with the show. So I finally decided to make myself look a little better. And I'm thrilled with the experience. It's really okay, been so fun. You had mentioned to me when you came to the office that you uh, weren't sure what you wanted done. And perhaps you'll tell the audience you, how did you investigate uh, what we wanted to do for you and all the rest of it? Well, what started out was I, um, I went to four or five other dermatologists before I went to your office because I had already known about you and I wanted to see what they had to say. And what I found out was absolutely shocking. They knew nothing <laughs> as compared to what happened after I walked in your office and in two seconds you said, this is what you need, this is what we're going to do, and then you did it. Well, give us a little kind of a fast back. What, what, we, what we decided to do for you and, and how was your, your experience and uh, how was the healing? I, well, you said I would have uh, uh, no pain, no memory of the experience. It's exactly what happened. I had no idea what was going on. One minute I was talking to the anesthetist, the next minute I was uh, awakening. And um, the aftercare was just as you predicted. And um, I, I can't say enough about it. I really can't. I, I feel much better. The skin is tight. The skin is smooth. The skin feels like silk. It's, uh, it's, uh, you said I'd look younger. I, don't, I look in the mirror now, and I feel like a much better person. Well, in your case, I think the main problem was severe skin damage, sun damage. Am I correct? I would say sun damage, um, some scarring. But, scarring, uh, yeah. and you had a lot of wrinkles. Yeah, the wrinkles also. You knew that you didn't yeah. want it. You didn't need, after we saw you, we realized we didn't need a facelift. We talked about autologous tissue, and we realized fully that it was a, basically a skin resurfacing. So we what, did the resurfacing on you. We did a, a, a chemodermabrasion, laser-assisted, yeah. and was it painful? No, not at all. It wasn't painful in the aftercare either. I mean, even after the bandages came off the second, I was never in pain at all. Now, you see, Jody, he had an anesthesiologist. Uh, when we saw your mother, she didn't need that particular procedure. We did an autologous tissue transplantation type thing on her. And we're going to go back to Warren in a second. Perhaps you can share with the audience what you wanted to accomplish by getting anything done cosmetically. Well, I first started using the products, which I loved. My, so my products. That's what made me... Um, start coming more often to you and seeing it and I finally overcame my fears and decided to do Botox and um, the main reason that I did it is um, not so much for the wrinkles but I wanted to lift my eyes a little bit I felt my eyes were getting a little heavy so and it did exactly that as you said it would and it's you know everybody that sees me think I look younger and better than I have in a long time. But how about the fact that we talked about the sun damage? You love the sun. We know that. I mean, we go out and I see you in the Hamptons and stuff. You like the sun. Have you changed that at all? Have you been using the products to kind of counteract the effects of the sun? I have been, and I do think it is helping. Unfortunately, I'm too addicted to the sun to stay out. But of you're it. more careful, I but think. But I'm aren't more you? careful. I'm using more sunscreens, but I really do. Um, notice a lot of the spots and a lot of the dark spots and things. Have We're doing the light peels on you, but how, what, what, what's your regimen as far as the skin care program is concerned? Um, what, what do we have you on? I use a triple therapy. That's, the, that's the pad that has the, like the acid peel in, in the jar. The, right. You put it on every night, yes, right. and then what? And um, the Sega cream. Now, what's that? The evening. Tell us about Sega. I know a little bit about it, but maybe you'll tell me and kind of I hope the I audience. remember. <laughs> um, it's with vitamin C. Yeah. 
You um, activate it, but you crack the thing and put you put the in, vitamin put C it in, in, right? Mix it up. Right. And then it's what? Vitamin E, glycolic acid, and retin A. Wow. So, You're hired. Is that right? <laughs> That's right. It's in a green tea extract right. base. And I know I use this every day. You see, these products, we call them, in my opinion, cosmeceuticals. They're cosmetics, but they have pharmacologic action. If you walk into any major department store, you can't get this. If it really works, you can't buy it in a boutique. You can't buy it in a store. You can't buy it in, in even the most fantastic department store. Why? These are actually medicinals. These are prescription items that come in cream or serum form, and they have major action. Now, the beauty of what that, that particular thing that, we have, that I've helped develop, actually, I, I have developed it, is the fact that we can reverse the damage caused by the sun, aging, stress, etc. Just putting a moisturizer on, we have those, and they're good, but they're not going to do what this can do. Why? The glycolic will cause some of the old cells to slough off super, on the epidermis. The Retin-A in that product, which I may use in addition to that, has action inside the cell that will repair some of the damage done by sun. So these things you're using, they really work. That's why your skin looks so much brighter and better. Yeah, I do it both on my face and my chest. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so it really works. Now, difference. Warren, what are we doing with you now? Now you've had the operation. I'm, I'm using all the aftercare products as well. I don't know in detail the way Jody does what they actually do, but I've been using the regimen, and my skin feels terrific. I think the products, such as they are, I agree with you 100%. Nothing over the counter can do with your products. Yeah, but I'm asking you a question now. What kind of, what are you doing now? It's one month after surgery. Was your healing a, a difficult time? You, how long did it take you to look re decent to I, I, I think uh, within five days after the procedure, and it, I mean, you're actually going under anesthesia. I mean, it's an actual operation. Mm -hmm. I think within five days I started to look, you know, Wasn't almost that myself. Anesthesiologist, great. He was terrific. He, I was, he gave you an IV. We call standby he anesthesia. Gave me an IV. I was talking to him. He asked, you know, what I did for a living, and he, we, we chatted. The next thing I knew, it was three or four hours later. Right, and and then you woke up. I woke and up and and I was fine. One Absolutely of one of our fine. patients who happened to meet I'll, in the I'll office. I'll be very honest with yeah, you. I've never been under anesthesia before. I've uh -huh. never had that experience. I had no. Nausea, no anything. I was perfect. And when I came out, I was, you know, groggy, obviously. I was, but no after effects whatsoever. Shocking. And the, the operation itself, now, after you had the operation, how much time did it take you to feel you, yourself? You went to a hotel that same night. Yeah, I stayed at, um, can I say what hotel? You, you can say whatever you want. <laughs> I stayed this, at the Stanhope. Stand 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 I stayed at the Stanhope because it was a couple of blocks from, the, um, from your office. And... I wanted to be in a clean, you know, antiseptic environment, and I wanted to be waited on because, I, after, after all, I was recovering from an operation. And they were nice. They were extremely nice. Good. I really enjoyed the my food. Was food was good. <laughs> food was excellent. Food was excellent. Better than hospital food. It was. See, well, most of our patients, we do outpatient. We have a full operating suite in the office, and the vast majority of my cases, 99.9% .9 are all outpatient. Liposuction, eye lifts, face lifts, chemical peel, dermabrasion, any procedure we do in our certified operating room. So we can do it there, and it's safe, and we don't get infection and patients don't like the concept of being in a hospital. Your exact words to me is, I don't put healthy patients in a hospital. In other words, the type of surgery that we were doing is elective and it's not uh, life-threatening. So, uh, and you were right, you were 100% right. So, you, in the hospital, the bandages came off when? The next morning after the resurfacing the procedure? The next day, 24 hours later, your um, staff took care of that. You know what's amazing about your procedure? You know, I do laser, as you know. I have, th I have three lasers in the office. Yes, you Now, I was doing laser. I've gone back in good part to my chemodermabrasion because I get an incredible result, and it heals even faster than laser. But we have more information for the audience. Please don't go away. I, my guests can't wait to tell you all this great stuff. We'll be right back. First, there was liposuction. Now, there is liposculpture, the amazing body shaping technique invented in Paris and pioneered in America by Dr. Louis Fetter. This French sculpting technique uses a handheld syringe, not a machine, allowing for gentle and precise control. Liposculpture alone, or combined with Dr. Fetter's unique autologous fat transplantation, can achieve stunning results on almost any part of the body. Learn more about this extraordinary advance in appearance medicine. Call Dr. Fetter, 212-535-8700. Dr. Fetter's Silk Touch laser treatments can help you turn back the clock. This space age technology is remarkably effective for wrinkles and gently treating the ravages of sun damage. With a very short healing time and minimal redness, it's a treatment especially attractive to younger patients seeking to eliminate the early signs of aging. For more information about laser treatment or to schedule an appointment, call Dr. Fetter, 212-535-8700. an hour or a 
day. Experience Stressless Step for men and women. Manhattan's finest relaxation spa. Open seven days a week until 11 p.m. on weekdays and 10 p.m. on Saturday and Sunday. Paradise in Manhattan is just a step away. You don't have to suffer from the discomfort or the unsightly appearance of varicose and spider veins. Dr. Fetter's advanced sclerotherapy treatments can rejuvenate your hands and legs. You'll see stunning results as unattractive varicose veins virtually disappear before your eyes. This procedure is frequently covered by insurance. For more information or to schedule an appointment, call Dr. Fetter at 212-535-8700. We're back. Now, Jody, I had the great privilege to meet your glamorous, elegant mother. We had dinner that, that, that in the summer, and um, what happened? She said she liked the way you look, and she, she said she came from Pennsylvania to yes, see me? Yes, well, she'd been happened. wanting to um, have some work done, too. She had a very bad knack, the whatever, yeah. and um, it was really bothering her. She was wearing turtlenecks all the time. It was terrible. She was very uncomfortable, and after meeting you, you know, she felt so very comfortable coming to you, and she liked the fact that she didn't want to do a full facelift, that she just went in and were trying to do some liposuction and rebuild the tissue that she had lost, and, yeah. and she, she was, was very a, pleased with it. She yeah. was a great case. Now, she initially came in and she said, oh, you know, I don't want to do, for you to do a facelift. And I hear this all the time, patients, and I, I do a nice modified lift, but I'll tell you quite frankly, the, like the European doctors, we prefer to do face fills rather than face pulls. The aging face, the, the face that goes in the sun a lot, the face that just deals with stress, it's the loss of subcutaneous tissue through here. It's not so much the loss of tone. And the vast majority of patients that I see, I'm sure even your friends, they complain of this area in here and the problem with the neck. Now, a facelift, cannot, I repeat, cannot correct this area. Why? When you raise the flap up here from this incision, which is a standard facelift incision, and you're tying up some of these areas, then we plicate and ligate some of these areas underneath the skin. You ligate your blood vessels, and you plicate some of the tissues, and you're bringing it together. You can't usually correct this area in here because you can only undermine this part here. So in general, you need a filling type substance. Now, there are many things out there. There's collagen, there's uh, Alloderm is a host of products. There's Gore-Tex. I only use your own tissue and a special fibro fatty graft that I do where I basically lattice pearls of your own tissue. After we treat it, we wash it, we concentrate it, we give it a growth factor. And from tiny little openings around the face, I make like a lattice structure throughout you and I make a new foundation to give one the youthful contour that you had years ago. But a lift cannot give you that look. It's gonna be a pull look. And everyone knows, you go to a cocktail party, you walk down the street, that standard facelift look, that does not look good. I have many women who've come to me, and men, who've had facelifts in the past, and they say they're still dissatisfied. After paying all that money, they still have a look which is very pulled, and they still have the problem here, and many times at the neck. So we can do procedures today that are much, much more modified, much less invasive, much less expensive. I mean, for my, your procedure for mom, that full face and neck is normally one-third to one-fourth the price of a facelift. So, and it took us, what, two hours? How was her okay. period of recovery? She stayed at your home, I know that. She stayed at my home, yeah. She was fine. I mean, she was, you know, she's not the best patient in she the world. She was very nice. But... Oh, she was a sweetheart. No, so, no. But, no, it was very easy. You know, she went, stayed with me two or three days and went home and could get around fine. It wasn't a problem. And she had no uh, post-sequelae, uh, any, any no. pain, any difficulty. You saw the, no. whole, you saw the whole healing period. We, no. we did liposculpture, the full neck. Uh, which made a dramatic we did some, difference. Yes. In addition, we did some uh, special adhesive procedure here. We redraped her whole neck. We came in from several sites around the neck, and we did that special dual uh, level sculpture. I do it all by hand. I, I don't use a machine. A very fine instrumentation. And then we took tissue from the hip. We did my, my micro lipo foundation. Where I reestablished the contours in her face. And I want to tell you, her mid-face is so beautiful. Her lips. I mean, I would think she we gained about 20 years. What do you think? Yeah, she looks much younger, and it's just a much softer, smoother look than she had We're before. We're going to show some of those pictures later. I think uh, the audience will be really impressed because I know Mother looks so good. And when she saw me, I saw that big smile. I really felt good. Yeah. i got to tell you. Thank In you. In our business, too, you know. When you, like you see a gorgeous piece of an antique, and you take one piece from one 
party and you sell it to another all and they're so happy. Doesn't it make you happy when you? Yeah, it does. Sure, it does. It makes me happy when I see a happy face. <laughs> you walk in and they're smiling and they say. <laughs> Which brings me to, to, to tell you that um, coming into your office, just coming into the office and going to see a doctor such as yourself, it's a ton of fun. It, it doesn't feel like you're in a doctor's office. We really have a good time. Oh, that's right. nice to hear. I enjoy that. You, you don't mind the jokes, huh? No, I, you don't mind the jokes. I look forward to them. There you go. <laughs> well, what's interesting is that the other lady who we treat, your friend, who came to the office, she, you and she bonded in the office, and she was kind enough to come and stay with you yes. during the period of time this you were recuperating. A, this is very, very uh, interesting in that I met this girl, uh, Chinzia, at the office um, the day before I had the procedure and I sh needed someone to take me out of the office back to the hotel and she volunteered and then she did um, absolute nursing care for me while I stayed at the Stanhope. It was, it was and very, very kind And she also uh, prepared you for what you'd be going through. Yeah, well, she, now she wants to have it done, am I right? She's yeah, she says she does. She's so impressed with what, how I came out of it that she does want to do it, but I, I can't get over what she did, you know, how she helped me. Because normally I have the I some office staff do it, but she said, no, no, I want to do it. And she, 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 <laughs> was, she was there when I, uh, she was the first one, she was sitting waiting for me to come out of the uh, anesthesia. And she walked me out of the uh, recovery area. Right, right, sure. right. I, absolutely right back to the, because I was a little bit confused and dazed at that point. I was, again, I'm going to repeat to myself, I cannot believe I was not in any pain at all at any time, before or after. Now, how do you feel the results look for you? Well, I, I can't get over the feel of my skin. I can't get over the tightness and the smoothness and the, uh, I do look younger, which is what you said I would look younger. I mean, uh, I am very happy that I went through it. I mean, you know, it's not an easy decision to make. Any surgery isn't an easy decision. But all things being equal, I think I look much, much better than I did before. All right, and using the product. Now, remember you and I, and the we, products. we talked about Botox. You said, you know, I'm enjoying my face so much now, yeah, I, I don't <laughs> want to do anything else. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. This is true. I, I need a little time to come up for air. Now, can but I tell I, you, with Jody, we talked about it. We met many times in the summers and the Hamptons and stuff. And she'd say, you know, I like my face. and leave it alone. And then all of a sudden, you're my biggest proponent. You've sent me about seven patients, eight patients in the last, what, two months? Yeah. All your friends are, are trekking in. They're coming from Chicago, one from Florida. Yeah. My God, I, I, you, you. And everybody's, yeah. I'm shipping the products out to everybody. <laughs> I think you're a distributor. I think I'm going to give you a special discount because you, 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 you take 10 Seagas at a time. I, I are, do. You, are you eating that stuff? Does it, does it taste good? I have never, I've never tasted it. I've never tasted it. So I don't know. But what else did we talk about cosmetic procedures, I mean, that you've asked and that you want to know about? You remember you said to me uh, before we came on the air, you said, there are certain questions I want to ask you. Is it all right? I said, well, of course it's all right. We, we, we never use a script on this show, as you well know. I've never used a teleprompter. The show is totally, you know, ad lib because it's more fun that way. And we just try to bring information to the audience. They like it, fine. If they don't, they turn to someone else. But I prefer if you stay here, of course. But you can go. I'm not going to keep you here. But what else did you want to talk about? Well, I was um, speaking with a friend of mine last night, and I have had both microabrasion. Is that the You've friend? had the microabrasion. Do you and like the it? peels. I loved it. It was yeah. great. Both tell tell us about the microabrasion. Tell the audience, because I, they're not going to always listen to the doctor it's say. It's like sandblasting. It's like little... Controlled. Controlled. Yeah, yeah, it's not crazy. It was a little, you know, it felt like little pellets, you know, but it didn't hurt at all. Right. And afterwards, um, a lot of the dark spots and the unevenness and the redness was all gone. So, but when you did it was in combination with a chemical peel at the same time. And a friend of mine was going to do one or the other and I was just curious as to what the two different ones did differently. All right. When, in your case, microabrasion, we use microsized pellets. It's like a sand type thing. We go dee -dee -dee -dee, over the whole face, back of the hands, chest. We follow that with a chemical peel. Now, in conjunction, it works better. We have two effects. It's actually a physical effect of the uh, taking away the superficial epidermis, then the chemical peeling, then the creams at home. This is major advancement. But we're going to come back to that in one moment. I have a message for you at home. Please don't go away. Beauty, they say, is in the eyes of the beholder. How you feel about your appearance can have a dramatic effect on your life. Your face is your window to the world. Dr. Lewis Fetter's breakthrough techniques in chemodermabrasion and chemical peels can produce dramatic improvements in your skin's complexion and help remove and greatly reduce the appearance of acne facial scarring and other skin imperfections. You can reverse the effects of aging and sun-damaged skin with these highly effective techniques pioneered by Dr. Fetter. For more information, call 212-535-8700. Dr. Fetter invites you to experience the quality and effectiveness of his personally formulated skin treatment products and cosmetics. These acclaimed products have been dispensed and tested worldwide for over 15 years. 
the more than 100 products are free of any known allergens and contain only the finest quality ingredients. Once you've tried these products, you'll find them indispensable for maintaining a beautiful, clear complexion and general good health. For more information, call Dr. Fetter, 212-535-8700. This very attractive woman has had numerous microabrasions followed by our light chemical peels. As you can see, her complexion appears polished, attractive, youthful, and fresh. Hello, I'm Dr. Fetter. This microdermabrasion technique is truly amazing. It is the most advanced, non-invasive technique for skin rejuvenation and resurfacing available. Using the microparticulate treatment to the face, we often combine that with our light chemical peel. And using microdermabrasion, we can do the hands, the back, the chest, and in effect, total skin rejuvenation using this technique and others. Please call us for an appointment, and remember, Consultation for cosmetic procedures is complimentary. We're looking forward to seeing you. Thank you. We're back. Jody, uh, we didn't quite finish up that concept of the microabrasion and the chemical peel. You've had how many now? I guess around four. Yeah. And, and all mostly in combination with the Botox also. And the chemical which, peel. Right. And how do you think the results have been? I think it's fabulous. You like it? I really think it's great. Have your friends yeah. noticed the difference in your skin? Oh, very much so. Oh, it's wow. It's uh, getting rave reviews. Right. New romance in your life, too, I hear. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, All because of that. She's very glamorous. Be careful. And, and very successful. She's, no. This woman is some broke. I have an apartment I needed to rent. Four days. Done. Amazing. All right. Okay. In any event, tell us what you're doing now. You, you come about once a month for the microbrasions. Yeah, how often? I, I guess that was another thing. I just kind of wait until I see a little bit of the creases coming back in the forehead and then I come in for Botox. Is that about right or yes. is there more? Botox, I find if you do it every three months for the first year, the way we do it, and our dilutions, there are different doctors. I and the one we have it, we've done about 2,500 patients plus right now. We do about eight to 10 a week on a, on a quiet week. Patients love it. We do it for the full face. We do it around the eyes, forehead, sometimes the neck area here. It even works for migraine headaches, which is sort of interesting. You know, it's amazing. And we find if you do it those four times for a year, the muscle will become retrained and you may have to have it perhaps once a year after that. Some patients it seems to work and last indefinitely. And there's a very small percentage of patients, very small, where after two or three times it is not as effective. I've seen that. But that's a really small, maybe 1% of my patients who I've seen that in. So you're doing just the right regimen. You can have the microabrasion as frequent as once a week. And depending upon your situation, once every three or four weeks is fine. And you're doing beautifully. We even do your hands, yeah. if you notice. Yes, so, it's so made a big difference. All the little brown spots are gone. I need it again. Uh, pretty, well, they, they <laughs> out, right? But you're being okay. more careful with the sun. You put on the sunscreen, the one I gave you, the, the, the waterproof 26. Yes. That's, you can use that also. You, especially after, in your case, six months, no sun at all on your face. I mean, a reflective sun can happen. Yeah. Sunscreen goes on for yourself and everyone at home one half hour before. Use at least 25. Put it on a half an hour before you go out in the sun. Using the, uh, your SPF 25, yes. A big hat is great. Yes. And avoidance of the sun is just as important. Just saying you're using sunscreen is not enough. You've got to keep out of the sun from the hours of 10 and 2. To give you a quick, a quick little story about that, I met someone on, on a cruise that I had done a couple of months ago. Came to me for surgery. I did, his, I did his lower lids. I did a lift. I did autologous tissue. And he said to me, Doctor, would you just check my, my forehead? He's a, he's a scratch golfer. He goes hunting around the world. And I took a little crust off his head, and I, took, I saw a lesion underneath that, which turned out to be a malignant melanoma. And if he hadn't had the confidence and the desire to really have me check him, he might have died of melanoma. So I want to just tell yes, all of you at home, check with me, check with your doctor. By the way, if you're interested in a cosmetic procedure, the consultation with me will be complimentary. Just mention that you've seen the show, and you want to have a consultation, and we will make it a complimentary consultation if you're interested in cosmetic procedures. But I can't impress upon you enough. See your doctor. If you see a lesion that's enlarging or crusted or it's changed in size or color, see your doctor. There's a lot of cancer out there. There's a lot of melanoma. These things can be prevented and stopped. So I want everyone to realize this show has to really instruct the people at home what to do. No sun. Avoid it. It's terrible. Now, Warren, you had a question. Yes, um, you told me about the Botox, but what else are you doing now for men? It's I'm interesting. curious. It's I would, I'd like to know what else is available. Men today have be become the largest audience in cosmetic surgery. It's, it's growing by leaps and bounds because men also want to look well. Look I yourself. started this? You did. You're, you're the guy. <laughs> there, every woman at home has to blame you. It's, it's better than watching football, right? <laughs> All right. Uh, probably in the world today, 
and then make up a large preponderance of that. Liposculpture, liposuction, I call it liposculpture, is the most common cosmetic surgical procedure being performed worldwide. I do an awful lot of men, mainly belly, the love handles, thighs, and also it's wonderful for what's called gynecomastia. In some men, they have some abnormal accumulation in the breast area. It's psychologically, it's terribly damaging, but it can be corrected so easily. We make a tiny little incision in the armpit, in the axilla, and I come in from two or three sites, and we make that whole chest clean. Very rarely do we have to cut around the nipple. Some doctors take out some glandular tissue. I rarely have the situation where I've had to do that. I can find the liposculpture alone using a very fine yet strong cannula called my cobra cannula. I do it all by hand. I can flatten that whole area for men. And so if man has a problem, even insurance companies may pay for it. So men are doing liposuction? A lot. Oh. A lot. That's the most common thing. That and facial rejuvenation. That's the things I, I really specialize in. Facial rejuvenation and body sculpture. That's the things I do a lot and I enjoy doing. And, uh, and for Jody, what, what, what do you have in your uh, agenda? Uh, are you taking vitamins now? We talked about it. I, I do take vitamins. Cool. I have my vitamins. So, I know that. Yeah. Now, you, you also have using the products, the sunscreen. And you mentioned also, you mentioned one day, you, you, one of your friends wanted to have some lip augmentation, didn't you? Do you have a thing I about think that? I should, but well, you know, a lot of women do it because some women just are born with a little less tissue here. It's a nice look, and we're finally using your own tissue. I don't like doing surgery; the, the lip advancements brings it doesn't work. It doesn't look good, and I've seen some terrible scarring from that. Where do you take the tissue from? I take tissue normally from the hip, on the woman. Sometimes from the belly, the knee, and again, I wash it, I refine it, and in a similar manner, the way I rejuvenate the hands, same thing with the lips. I take the tissue. I layer it and I structure it. I come in for a very small incision at the right where the, the lips meet. And I come in and I thread it and make it a little situation where the lip will come out a bit. It's very attractive. And to be very truthful, you won't even notice it. And after one or two times, it's permanent. So it really is a, it's a nice adjunct. It's a nice touch. And uh, if you want to, we'll talk about it over lunch. Huh? <laughs> be good. And Warren, I want to tell you, I want to thank you for joining us. I help uh, you to sharing information with the audience. I really appreciate that, and My I think pleasure. they do. And Jody, uh, Think Real Estate, and uh, thank you so much for joining us also. Thank you. It's nice Congrats to be to mother. here. Thank you. I will. And I want to thank you at home for watching us. We try, as you see, very hard to bring you all this information. And please tune us in. We're here every week, the same time, same station. Here's looking at you. Good night. For information about any of the topics and procedures discussed on this program, we invite you to call Dr. Fetter for an appointment or a free brochure illustrating the services and products available at his Fifth Avenue offices.